Builders are incredible. They make our homes. But we humans are not the only creatures on Earth who build homes. Loads of animals do it as well, and some of their work is pretty nifty. These are the most amazing nests in the animal world, too. Number 15. Sociable Weaver the sociable weaver is a little bird from the Kalahari region of southern Africa. They are quite common there, but what isn't ordinary about these little fellas is their nest. Uh, note that I said nest in singular because they build a massive nest for everyone. Kind of like an apartment block for little birds. The nest is large enough to accommodate 100 sociable weaver families all year long, and they are extremely solid and resilient. Some sociable weavers' nests have been documented to be in use for over a century. From afar, the gigantic nest looks like an ordinary haystack. But once you get closer and you stand underneath it, you can clearly see all the different entrances to the many individual nesting chambers. One room for each family. These birds are quite the little engineers and architects. They even know how to use different materials for different purposes. They use long twigs for the roof and dry grasses for the separation of the nesting chambers. They even created a security system. They place sharp spikes of straw to protect the entrances from potential predators. They have truly thought of everything. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. As you can see, weaver bird nests are truly stunning. Built from all manner of bits and pieces, such as twigs and roots and leaves and grass, these beautiful nests have knots that'll make a Boy Scout proud. These tightly woven masterpieces are arguably the best nests we've ever seen. They're truly stunning, don't you agree? Let us know. Typically speaking, the nests are built by male birds in an attempt to woo the females. As always, comment down below with the hashtag odd topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Australian Mallyfowl Nests one of Australia's most curious creatures has to be the Mallyfowl. This intelligent bird has figured out a way of building a real-life incubator for its eggs. They don't build your ordinary nest in a branch, no. They actually use their strong feet to dig a big crater in the ground. And in the middle of the cavity, the female gently lays her fertilized eggs. But that is not all. The parents then scrape large amounts of leaf litter to cover up the crater with it. Now, all they need is a form of insulation for their little unborn babies, and nothing's better than a healthy layer of dirt to secure the structure. And then the magic of science happens. As the leaves start to compost, they release generous amounts of constant heat to keep the eggs nice and cozy until they're ready to hatch. It's an ecological, natural incubator designed by a very smart little winged engineer. The male mallee fowl during the incubation period will constantly check the temperature of the breeding mound and he'll scrape materials off or onto it if needed to regulate the heat, because for his little ones, everything has to be just right. Number 13. Golden-Headed Cysticola Cobweb Sewing the golden-headed cysticola is known as the finest tailor of the bird world. They live in Australia and Asia, and they can grow to be 4.5 inches. The males change their color during mating season. Normally, they're brown and cream in color, but from May to July, they grow golden and orange feathers, which give them their name. The golden-headed cysticolas have figured out a way of stitching the little twigs and leaves for their nests with spider threads. Although the spiders must not be very happy, Happy about this technique, it is very ingenious and effective. 
During the process of building the nest, both the male and female have very precise responsibilities. While the male provides the spider webs, the female is in charge of the stitching. Once it's finished, they both look for green leaves and soft grass to place on the nest to camouflage it. They are very smart and caring little parents. The result is a round nest with one entrance to the side of it, and then the female lays three to four eggs inside, which are then incubated for 11 days just by the mother. The father then acts as the protector, a role he'll still do after the chicks have hatched. Number 12. Ancient Brazilian Termite Mounds what is believed to be the largest termite mound system in the world has recently been discovered. And when I say large, I mean it's as big as Great Britain. Can you imagine something like that? And not only is it the largest termite mound system ever, but also the oldest. Scientists think it might be 4,000 years old. You could argue that this is the greatest civilization on Earth, yet humans have nothing to do with it. Each mound is 2.5 meters tall and 9 meters wide, and they are all exactly exactly 20 meters apart, and there are nearly 200 million of them, making it the largest structure ever built by animals in the history of the world. None of our cities have ever come close to the sheer size and intricacy of what the little leaf-munching termites have done. They were discovered because of the destruction of the forest that kept them hidden for thousands of years in Brazil. It's quite outstanding that such a huge structure has been under our noses for so long, completely completely unbeknownst to us. These 13 millimeter insects have shifted the amount of land equivalent to 4,000 Great Pyramids of Giza to create their magnificent underground city. Number 11. Trapdoor Spider Nest these amazing spiders are incredible homemakers, and I mean that quite literally. Instead of making a spider web, they will dig a hole in the ground, a perfectly cylindrical one. They then line the walls with web and soil to make it nice and smooth. But the most amazing part is what they do next. With just a hole in the ground, as cozy and pretty as it might be, it's very exposed to the elements, and most importantly, to predators. So what this smart little spider does is simply to build the trap door. The top is made with a perfect mixture of soil and web, and the most impressive part is that they make a custom hinge made out of spider thread. On the inside of this amazing feat of engineering, they even make a little hole so they can grab it shut if they're inside and some other creature wants to come in but isn't invited. These spiders will stay in their little house for their entire life so they might as well make it comfortable and safe. And they live for 20 years as well, so the nest has to be solid. Number 10. The Narciss Snake Dens Alert to the people suffering from aphidiophobia, do not watch this video. The Narciss Snake Den is one of the most impressive events that happens in nature. It's not about the den itself, but about the sheer astronomical number of snakes that live there. And it is the red-sided garter snake in particular. In 1999, the population was of 70,000 snakes. This curious and maybe a little scary congregation of snakes happens in Manitoba, Canada, and it's the largest concentration of snakes anywhere in the world. And the explanation's actually in the geology of the area. In Manitoba, temperatures can drop to 50 degrees below zero, and a snake, being a cold-blooded creature in the literal sense, has to find shelter to survive the winter icy cold. And in that region, the limestone bedrock is very close to the surface, causing cracks and crevices, which cause big sinkholes. And that is exactly where these snakes go to seek warmth, so they all end up having to share relatively small dens for such a large group of snakes. Number 9. Montezuma Hanging Nests the Montezuma oropendula is a tropical bird from the Caribbean. Their nests are massive woven pouches that literally hang from the branches of a tree. They make them out of fibers and vines, and they can be up to 71 inches long. There can be dozens of these curious nests in a single tree. Their name is in honor of Aztec Emperor Moctezuma II. The Montezuma oropendula is also the most sexually dimorphic bird in the world. This means that the males 
and the females are completely different in appearance. In this case, it's their size. Male Oropendulas are 100% bigger than their female equivalents, which is a 2 to 1 body ratio. In a colony of Oropendulas, there is an alpha male that mates with almost all the females. This kind of behavior is also quite rare in birds, as usually mammals behave this way. Another particularity about these birds is their strange song. It sounds like a UFO more than a real-life bird. It consists of conversational bubbling, followed by loud gurgles. So this little bird is full of surprises, as you can see. Number 8. Organ Pipe Mud Dauber not many people like wasps, but this one has an amazing ability to build really cool looking nests. Fair disclosure though, if you see one of these nests, do not approach it. There might be a very protective wasp in there that will not hesitate to sting you. To make their nest, they use mud mixed with their saliva, and the result is a cigar-shaped tube. Inside each mud tube, you'll find one single precious wasp egg that's usually protected by both the female and male parents. This behavior is very unique and rare amongst wasps, and it's called parental care. Sometimes you can even find several mud nests built side by side, which look a lot like organ pipes, hence their original name. Some tubes can measure over 20 centimeters in length. To get rid of a nest like this, all you need to do is spray it with wasp freeze first to ensure that if there is a wasp in there, it'll die before you handle the nest. Then you simply remove it with a paint scraper or something similar. Number 7. Texan Giant Spider Arachnophobes might want to change the channel for this one. Imagine a spider web the size of a football field. Yeah, it exists in Texas. Where else? These eight-legged creatures have taken over a national park, and they're not going anywhere else. But how can one single itsy-bitsy spider build such a massive nest? Well, actually, the reality is much more disturbing than just one laborious and industrious spider. Basically, all the arachnids in that area have started to take advantage of the moisture and the abundance of insects to munch on, and have decided to work together to link all their webs, creating a super creepy be mega nest. If spiders start machinating against us, we are toast. Organized spiders? Yikes. The cool thing about this is that apparently it is extremely rare, meaning it almost never happens. Scientists are absolutely baffled with how on earth spiders can communicate at such a sophisticated extent. I don't know about you, but I'm getting spooked. And although it might look like Halloween's a bit too real this time, look at the bright side. At least you won't get bitten by any mosquitoes. Number 6. Australian Leaf Curling Spider This spider is also a great little architect, a minimalist one too. To make its nest, it basically chooses the nicest leaf it can find and curls it up. It then suspends it with its spider threads and uses it as a hideout. The result is a protective cylinder quite the engineering prowess. Leaf curling spiders are a little bit tick bodied and they have an oval shape to them. When they hide inside their leaf, they leave their eight legs outside. That way they're in contact with the rest of the web and they can easily feel the vibrations in the silk threads if an insect gets caught in their trap. And then dinner is served. The leaf works wonders as protection against predatory birds and parasitic wasps. Sometimes they get fancy, and instead of a leaf, they use a snail shell, which already comes curled up. Quite the ingenious little creatures. When a female spider wants to lay her eggs, she builds a nursery in a separate curled leaf that she hangs in a plant nearby. Number 5. Red Oven Bird Domed Nests the Rufus Hornero, or Red Oven Bird, is a precious little bird native to eastern South America. It is the national bird of both Argentina and Uruguay, which are neighboring countries. They build incredible nests that look a lot like an old-school wood-fire baker's oven. It is such a laborious task to build their nest that it can take two to three months from start to finish. They build their little characteristic dome-shaped nest out of clay. They set a layer, then wait until 
it's dry, and then they continue layer by layer, little by little. And the most impressive part of this fantastic structure is the finishing touch, the entrance. The Red Oven Bird designs it almost exactly like a snail's shell, so it's very difficult for intruders to go inside when the parents are away looking for food. Inside the nest, they delicately lay down soft grass so the eggs are nice and comfy. One nest can last for several years, but for some unknown reason, oven birds like to construct a new one each brood. Number 4. Weaver Ants Ants are fascinating little creatures. Millions of years before we built our first cities, the ants were already creating gigantic mega structures. Most ant colonies are underground, a maze of thousands of tunnels and chambers. But some of the greatest engineering ant species have taken to the tree's canopy. Meet the weaver ant. They build their intricate cities out of leaves at the top of the trees to be safe from the predators living on or in the ground. One single colony of weaver ants can contain over half a million members. They extend over hundreds of square meters and can occupy several trees at the same time. And all of this is made by an 8 millimeter long, tiny little creature the size of a grain of rice. The worker ants, also known as the greatest architects of the animal world. When they want to expand their city, the worker ants start their process by testing the flexibility of each leaf. If it's just right, an army of other other worker ants will show up and work in unison. They can also form an ant chain to gather together two leaves that are too far apart. Number 3. Bald Eagle Nest Bald eagle couples are monogamous, and they stay together for life. And the first thing they do together is look for a good nesting site, preferably close to water as they enjoy snacking on fish. It's a great first date of sorts. They usually go for trees that are over 150 feet high because that offers a good bird's eye view of the area. They start building their nest during spring, which in the northern hemisphere is around April. It takes a couple of eagles a minimum of two full weeks to finish their precious nest, weekends included. And sometimes the perfectionist ones take as long as several months. No rest for the mighty, as they say. They usually choose a section of the tree that has no branches above it so it's easier to access. The nests are made out of twigs, branches, leaves, and even animal bones and antlers. The inside of the nest, though, is made out of softer things like moss and seaweed. One nest can weigh over 2,000 pounds. They usually come back every year to the exact same spot every breeding season. Number 2. Cathedral Termites Cathedral termites, like their name suggests, build mounds that look exactly like cathedrals. They live in the Northern Territory of Australia. These are not your ordinary bark-eating termites. These ones actually eat grass, and they store it right there inside the ominous mounds. They're made out of substrate of fine sand, clay, and silt mix over a bedrock of laterite. Proportionally speaking, cathedral termites build the tallest non-human-made structures in the world. <laughs> That is quite impressive. One single mound can be over 8 meters tall, and each one houses millions of members. Researchers believe that cathedral termites evolved from wood-eating termites thousands of years ago when the environment started to get more and more arid, so they had to adapt or perish. They then left the woodlands for the grasslands and radically changed their diets. These tiny little creatures sure are resilient and great architects, too. They can build a mound surprisingly surprisingly fast as well. I guess when you're an organized, close-knit community of millions, anything is possible. Just imagine if us humans were like that. Number 1. Ruby-Throated Hummingbird as its name suggests, the ruby-throated hummingbird glitters like a jewel in the sun. They are amazing and breathtakingly beautiful little creatures, and quite elusive too. But finding a hummingbird's nest might be an almost impossible task, and that's because they build them so tiny that they are virtually invisible from the ground, and from above, there are leaves hiding it as well. The hummingbird's eggs are extremely fragile, like jelly beans, and that's why the construction of an appropriate nest is 
is a subtle and precise task. The nest has to be lined with soft and warm materials with a velvety and spongy floor to erase any risk of egg breakage. They use leaves and plant fibers that they weave together and anchor to the branch with spider threads. Once it's all done, they tend to find materials to decorate the nest with that also works as camouflage. It's necessary to keep those eggs safe and hidden. The result is a super cozy and delicate miniature nest only big enough for two hummingbird chicks. And finally, after around 20 days after hatching, the baby hummingbirds will leave the nest and start an adventure of their own. I don't know about you, but I had no idea that animals could build such amazing structures. If you had to get inspiration from one of these nests to build your own house, which one would you choose? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!